Hey, Daniel Lanier here. I'm going to talk a little bit about the Super Bowl. Uh, not the fact that the Browns weren't in the Super Bowl, but just the game overall. Some cool things that I thought about uh, in the game. And maybe one day the Browns will be in the, in the Super Bowl. Uh, one can only hope. But let's talk about the game last night in just a little bit. Not necessarily about the game as far as the, the football that was played, but I, I thought about something pretty interesting, and this has to do with Nick Foles. So, as you know, uh, Carlson Wentz got hurt, came out, put Nick Foles in, and some people, they, they wrote the Philadelphia off. Philadelphia was off to a great season, great record. They were definitely looking like they were bound for the Super Bowl anyway. But when Wentz got hurt, people were like, oh, there's no way they're going to make it. You know, how are they going to win these games? They're probably going to get uh make it to the playoffs, of course, but then they're going to be out in the playoffs. Uh, Nick Foles is not going to be able to to maintain this. And if you know anything about Nick Foles, if you're not a football fan, I want you to just think about that traded, uh, went to the Rams, had a, a bad season to the Rams, went to the rest, to the uh, Chiefs, and played a little bit there. Um, and and probably didn't have the, the best of seasons um, in, in either one of those teams. And became a backup quarterback at Philadelphia. And when he took over, you think about all the doubts that people had for him. And he could have let all those people's doubts weigh him down and put those limitations on on himself. But he looked like a person that was really prepared, a person that was ready for their opportunity. And that's what I was thinking about. You know, you you never know when it's going to be your opportunity, you know, when it's going to be your chance to step up and show that you belong here. You belong wherever that that place is that you're trying to go, whatever that thing is you're trying to do, that goal. You never know when you're going to really get that opportunity to shine and step up. And I, and I just love the way he stepped in to that role and he produced. He he had people like shocked. They were like, is, is, is this Nick Foles? Is this the Nick Foles we remember? And he showed them, hey, I belong here. I've done the hard work to get here. And this is what I'm about. And this is what I can do. And it's kind of like the same thing that could happen. You know, you, you may have some failures, you may have some setbacks. And those setbacks don't mean that you have to stop thinking, you know, sometimes you may make a slight course correction. Sometimes you may do just like I'm sure he wasn't excited to be the backup quarterback, but he was waiting for his opportunity. So when that opportunity came, he stepped up to the plate. He rose to the occasion, not only in, in the Super Bowl, because he didn't have to just play one game. He played a few games to maintain, and he got better as each one of those games progressed to show that he belongs here. He deserves to be here. He is ready for this opportunity. And, and that's what can happen sometimes. You can have setbacks. You can have failures. And while you're in the, the setback and the failure, you still can prepare. You can learn from that setback, learn from that, and get better. You're waiting for the next opportunity, but while you're waiting, you're getting better. You're learning. You're getting more knowledge. You're making those those slight corrections and changes that you needed to make when you were going through this. So you're getting yourself prepared to get in line to for your opportunity to do whatever it is you want to do. So what I would say to you is, hey, don't worry about the setbacks. Don't worry about when when things happen or the failures that happen. Make sure you maintain and you learn from those failures and you get better for the next opportunity. So when that opportunity does arise, you're ready. You're ready to go and you're ready to show that I do belong here. This is my opportunity. I'm going to step up to the stage. I'm going to do what's required and I'm going to show you that I belong here. This is my purpose. This is my passion and I'm going to do it and I'm going to prove that I do it. And as long as you keep believing in yourself when you have those failures and setbacks, you can get there. So when that opportunity does arrive, you got it. So never stop believing in yourself. Keep preparing Keep doing the hard work that's needed to get to where you want to go, and you're going to get there. This is Daniil Lanier. Have a good one. I'm out.